Welcome to the Honours and Graduate Research Evening at Amrit. I hope you're not just here for the pizza, but uh, the pizza's good, I'm told. Um, my name's Terry O'Brien. I'm the uh, Deputy Head of School and uh, representing Stephen Jane here. That's the Central Clinical School, which is one of two clinical schools on this campus, along with the School of, uh, Popula of uh, Population Health and uh, Preventative Medicine. Um, and I'm also uh, the head of the Department of Neuroscience, it's one of the new um, departments and rapidly growing departments here. Um, and uh, in the hospital, the Alfred Hospital, I'm uh, director of the, uh, the Alfred Brain Program in, of Neurology. Um, congratulations on making the, uh, the trip from, uh, from Clayton. Um, hopefully you'll uh, appreciate the, uh, this part of the world has, uh, has many great attractions and is worth the uh, 20 kilometres trip down the highway. Um, and it's not just the uh, good cafes and uh, nice beach walks, um, but uh, the, the Alfred Hospital Medical Research Precinct is uh, one of the, uh, the most dynamic and, uh, um, and, uh, uh, a, and exciting medical precincts to work in, in, uh, in Australia and, uh, and arguably in the world. Um, it has the unique combination of Australia's leading um, academic uh, tertiary hospital, the Alfred Hospital, surrounded by some of Australia's leading medical research institutes, such as the Baker Institute, the Burnett Institute, um, and also two of Monash University's uh, strongest academic research-based departments, as I've, uh, schools, as I've mentioned. Um, and the evening tonight, obviously starts off with myself and then we're going to hear one of our current honour students, uh, Sarah Fan, tell you what a wonderful year she's having this year. Um, and then Lakshmi, who has, was an honour student here and is now doing a PhD, will tell you why she couldn't leave this precinct and have to stay and do her PhD and, um, and the, part, the pathways to do that. And then Associate Professor Bassa Diung from the uh, School of, uh, of Public Health and Preventive Medicine will uh, talk about the honours course in that school in particular. And then you get to, uh, to speed date with uh, all your fantastic potential supervisors and uh, have some pizza and refreshments, which, as I mentioned, is not really why you're here. So what's the focus of, um, of research here and honours and PhD um, projects at uh, this precinct? Well, it's really all about what we call translational research, which is a buzzword, no doubt, you hear tossed around a lot. What does it really mean? means going from mouse to house. Now, this is Steve Jane's slide, and unfortunately it's a little dated because probably most of you in the room don't, haven't watched House, unless you've, uh, unless you've subscribed. But, uh, but uh, the point of this is translational research is all about taking discoveries from basic science and, and taking them into, into, the, into patients, into the clinical domain, and actually introducing treatments and, uh, and um, and uh, uh, diagnostics and other, other interventions that actually make a difference for patients with real diseases. Um, and, uh, you know, if you like, you can come on ward rounds and uh, pretend you're a house. Um, translational research traditionally is, uh, is seen as going, as we show on the bottom of the slide, an arrow going from basic science through to clinical trials and then uh, ultimately to change clinical practice. But in, a, in an environment like this where it's centred on, uh, on a busy teaching hospital, in fact, much of the translation actually comes the other way. And one of the unique advantages of working, um, doing a project here is that all of the department's institutes are, are staffed by clinician scientists, which are people like myself who spend part of our day seeing real, real patients and identifying all the, the many problems that we, uh, we can't solve with current treatments or we don't treat as well as we could. And then come back and to our laboratories and to our scientific colleagues and uh, look at, uh, at ways of uh, understanding those problems and the basics of those problems better. And then, obviously, then ultimately taking them back through, uh, through preclinical trials and clinical trials all on one, uh, uh, to ultimately address those problems that we identified from the bedside in the first place. So it's bedside, back to bench, back to bedside. Um, and that's something that you can do all in this one precinct. We have everything from, from fundamental research, clinical uh, practice, and clinical trials and uh, outcomes research. So that's the, one of the really unique things about getting out of Clayton and coming into a precinct like this. 
So as I've already outlined, this precinct has um, a number of very major leading schools and, uh, and institutes. The Central Clinical School, which is my home, has, uh, has over 12 departments, um, each of which focused on different areas of, uh, of medicine um, and translational research, allergy, anaesthesia and perioperative medicine, haematology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, immunology, infectious diseases, neuroscience, just to mention one. Um, <laughs> And we do have more projects than any other uh, thing, but not, not that I'm parochial. Um, pathology, psychiatry, sexual health, um, for those who are a bit more adventurous. adventurous. <laughs> for those who are really adventurous, surgery um, and trauma. So you, know, you name it in medicine and each of those departments are offering a, a whole variety of really interesting research projects. And if you're not so interested in spending time doing with, with pets or mice, many of the uh, projects also involve patients in clinical um, uh, data. The Baker in, uh, uh, Heart and Diabetes Institute has a focus on cardiology, diabetes, metabolism and obesity. Burnett, infectious diseases and global health and many of our projects have reaches right across the world. Um, School of Public Health and Preventative Medicine, Clinical Trials, Emergency Medicine, Epidemiology, Global Health, Health Promotion, Intensive Care, Infectious Diseases, Registry Science and Rheumatology. So again, a very broad area um, of, uh, of research opportunities. All of these institutions have uh, outstanding clinician scientists and basic scientists who work together. So that unique interface between science and clinical medicine is uh, something that you don't get in very many precincts, not, not with this sort of critical mass. Um, and there's great opportunities, if you love it, to uh, stay on and do um, a research higher degree, masters or PhD. There's, uh, there's three basic choices for your honours year, if that's what you're looking at next year. You can do, within the Central Clinical School, you can do an immunology honours if your project is, uh, has an immunological basis, and that could extend across many of the diseases I talked about before. Or if you want to do an honours in one of the other areas, then you do it through, uh, through the um, human pathology honours. Um, so there's two streams for that. Um, and uh, Justin Hamilton and, and Margaret Hibbs and Villier will uh, be able to guide you about the various uh, the paperwork for the different honours programs. And then within the School of, uh, of Public Health, um, there is also an honours progr program and, uh, um, and Bassia will be talking about that uh, later in the evening. If you, um, if you enjoy your honours year or you're doing medicine and you're looking to do a PhD, there's a number of different pathways. Our PA, doctoral PhD programs are, are, are focused on transactional research because that is really the, uh, the modus operandi here. Um, you can do that from a, your, a medical degree if, you're, uh, if you do a B Bachelor of Medical Science. One of the, uh, the attractions of that is that uh, you could, if your project is going well, you can convert it into a PhD with another two years um, and, uh, and, um, and then go back into your medical course. And if you do that here, you're all guaranteed an in, a intern act um, uh, interview at, uh, at the Alfred, which is, uh, which is a very competitive um, uh, 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 thing to get. So, um, so, so that's one of the, one of the, the carrots to coming and uh, doing your, your, your BMED Sci or, or, or PhD here. Um, if you're coming from a science background after your honours, um, uh, assuming you do well, which I'm sure you all will, um, then you, uh, you can start your PhD and along with the research project there's also a series of courses that are offered that really give you unique um, education in the basis of translational medicine, um, including clinical trials, commercialisation and innovation. I'm sure you, you all want to be the new age of scientists who, uh, who have the nature paper and the Ferrari, so we can teach you how to do that. And biostatistics, and it doesn't matter what area of research you're in, biostatistics are absolutely critical if you want to get, get your papers published or even get grants. So that's all I've got to say. Um, and then I think we're handing over to uh, who's next. Great. <laughs>